millions of people around the world suffer from neck problems or will suffer from neck problems. It could be poor sleep, bad posture, that forward stooped posture where you're looking down, we're using technology, we're texting all the time, we're sitting, our head is forward. The neck is incredibly important when it comes to our health because it's the gateway that the brain sends a signal from up here down through the bones out all these tiny nerves and when there's problems in your neck we're interfering with the way that those signals are passing through we're creating tension along that system and what you might not know is that the neck itself is where a lot of these conditions such as headaches problems with the ears tinnitus or that ringing in the ears can come from obviously neck pain if this is off it can cause that but it's other things that people don't realize like vertigo dizziness even things like high blood pressure pain that can be radiating from your neck can go into your shoulders in between your shoulder blades down your arms into your hands you're getting the numbness the tingling even weakness foggy brain or a lack of range of motion in your neck. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to take care of this. When the muscles are acting up, what can you do at home right now that's gonna take care of this, it's gonna make you feel better, you're gonna get your range back, and some of those associated symptoms, the vertigo, the dizziness, the high blood pressure, radiation, whatever the condition is, will actually start to leave. So if you have neck problems or problems associated with your neck, you're maybe taking medication which has side effects. Maybe you can't move properly or nobody's been able to help you before. Let me show you two things that you can do at home right now that's going to get you quick results that are safe and effective. There's a muscle in your neck that is extremely common with people who have neck pain, but more importantly, that range of motion issues that can cause so many other types of symptoms that I just talked about. And this muscle is called the sternocleidomastoid. So this muscle runs on either side of your neck. And this one stabilizes your neck, but it's really prone to being overstretched or hurt during the day when it comes to posture issues, how you hold yourself, even how you've been sleeping, it could be reflected by so many things. In fact, I see this a lot with people who have had any type of traumas. So if they've fallen, they've had whiplash type of injuries, this muscle that runs on the front, the SCM or the sternocleidomastoid, is a muscle that attaches right at the base of your skull. And it runs all the way down to the front and then it attaches down here at the sternum. So this muscle, when this gets really tight, it compresses a lot of the nerves that are not only in around your ear, but it's the nerves that are traveling into your head or around your head to the front, into the jaw, even into the throat. And so you can imagine all the types of symptoms that can be associated with this. So what can you do at home that's gonna get you relief? I'm gonna focus only on one side and so I'm going to take my right side for as an example, but if you're having a lot of problems on your left, then you would just do this on your left. But what you're going to do is you're going to turn your head one side. So for me, if I'm going to work on my right, I'm turning my head to the left. And what that's going to do is that's going to put that muscle into a lengthened position. And all you want to do is we want to not only be able to identify that muscle, but what I want you to look out for is if your muscle is super tight and you really want to know if this is a problem, when you turn your head, you won't be able to turn. So right away, you're going to have a range of motion issue. But if you also turn your head and you notice that you're dipping now to this side because it is so tight, you could really see that active right now. It's dipping to the side. Now you have contraction issues in that muscle. So let me show you how to get rid of that. A lot of the times, when we massage muscles, we tend to go along the muscle belly. So in this case, because the muscle runs this way, we're going to go down this way, but that's not what we want to do. What we want to do is use some neurology behind what we're doing. 
and the technique I'm using is called trigenics. So we're gonna combine not only a stretch, a press, but we're also gonna combine breath. And this is all to do with changing the way your brain is receiving these signals to help it balance out. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your head to one side. You're gonna feel for the muscle, you're gonna feel. And a lot of the times it is very tender. You're gonna notice there's a lot of pain. You might even get, just by touching it, you might even get the symptoms that you have. But what you're gonna do is as you turn your head, what you're, instead of bringing your hand down this way, along the muscle belly, what you wanna do is you're gonna find the area, and I'm using my thumb. What you'll notice, I'm using my thumb, and I'm going across the muscle belly. So I'm gonna start at the top, and I'm gonna come across, and as I work myself down, you're gonna feel a spot that is incredibly tender. And that's the spot we wanna work with. So we're gonna turn our heads, we're working through it this way, we're finding the spot that really, you can really feel. And right now, for me, it's actually down here. So it's not up here, it's down here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be cross frictioning this muscle. So I'm just going across it. Now it might help to lubricate your hands. So if you have creams at home, you can use that. You can use oils like avocado oil or like an olive oil. But all you wanna do, just a little bit of lubrication goes a long way and you're just gonna go across that belly. And I can really feel that, I'm flicking that. Now this in itself is gonna give some of you a lot of relief. Right away, you're gonna notice your range of motion. You're gonna feel incredibly better. And for some of you, even the other associated issues, the dizziness, vertigo, maybe even numbness, tingling into the hands, will actually start to go away. But what you're gonna do is as you keep going through this, now we're gonna implement the next stage of this, which is the stretch. So you're gonna turn your head, you're going this way, and then I'm arching my head away. So if my nose is turned to the left, I'm also arching into the left. Now we're getting a deep stretch in here. So we're going across, we're still gonna find that spot that we feel, and we're gonna do that maybe about 10 times just to work that out. But again, we're going across the muscle fiber. After about 10 times of having now the stretch involved, now we're gonna use some neurology to really amplify the results. And what you're gonna do is as your head is turned, we have a slight now extension. So we're really gonna, so we're really lengthening this position. What you're gonna do is take your left hand in this case, I'm gonna grab the side of my head. And as I grab the side of my head, I'm gonna start using the muscle to push into bringing my head back to neutral. So my head is slightly over, my arm is coming over, and all I'm gonna do is now is I'm gonna push my head back towards neutral, and we're only gonna do this for 10 seconds. So it's over like this, we're pushing back, and now as I push back, I'm gonna take a deep breath in, hold my breath, and then go for 10 seconds. We're pushing for 10 seconds. So hold my breath. And as I release, you're gonna release your hand, and right away you're gonna feel very loose in that muscle. Now for some of you, especially if this causes vertigo, dizziness, problems with headaches, or even jaw problems, where you're noticing that you're getting a lot of the jaw problems, you're clenching at night, or when you open your jaw, the hinge feels off. For some of you, you're gonna get that relief right now. For some of you, especially if you're working through this area, and depending on how low you go on here, these are some of the nerves that even go through the throat. So if you feel like you're always coughing or you're having to release your throat all the time, that there's always some type of phlegm in there, that you get coarseness in the, in the voice, where you're noticing uh, you always have to clear it. What you're gonna notice is for a lot of you, you're gonna start swallowing, and you actually feel like things are moving. Now the next move that we're gonna do is we're gonna be looking at stabilizing the bones at the back of the skull, because at the back of the actual skull, where this atlas, which is this guy right here, and your axis, this guy here, these guys are heavily involved with the nerves that are exiting your neck, some of them are going inside your head, but the other ones are going around to the front. So this would be your uh, greater occipital nerve. This is the one that 
can cause a lot of headaches, the eye headaches, the temple headaches, the pressure headaches. And so this area can have a lot of tension. So I'm going to show you how to release that right now. What you're going to do is you're going to give yourself a chin tuck. Now the chin tuck, what you want to do is you don't want to put pressure at the top. You actually want all the pressure to come through the bottom of your shoulders because in a lot of the cases where these muscles are tight, it's because of the forward head posture and then the pinching at the top that's causing the problem. So what we want to do is we want to draw from the sternum. So we want to come from here and we want to pull in. Now my head is just following. It should be really loose, but I'm using the middle here. I'm pushing back through here. But now as I do this, and everything is relaxed at the top, I'm gonna to take my hands and then I'm gonna bring them around the top of my head and I'm grabbing the back of my skull. And so as I bring myself into that chin tuck position, I'm chin tucking in. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull down. So I'm pulling down, I'm bringing my chin downwards. And as I'm doing that, I'm gonna feel a release at the base of my skull where those nerves are exiting. Now these muscles, the suboccipital muscles, very tender muscles. And especially if you have a problem, especially if some of those bones aren't sitting in the right position. So what you wanna do is you wanna hold this for only about 10 seconds. And then what you're gonna end up feeling is one side is gonna be a problem. So typically, you know, today I focused on the right side of my neck because this is where I have some stiffness. But what you can do is if you feel like it's the right side, that right SCM, there's a problem. Typically, you might even feel that it's the same side on the top of the neck. So what you want to do then is as you bring yourself down, now what you can do is you can focus by turning to that side. So if it's the right side, I'm actually turning my head to the right as I pull down. Now I'm going to get a deeper stretch in there. The same would be for the other side. And then you would hold that again for about 10 seconds breathing through it you're not over stretching but if you start to get a lot of symptoms and you start to feel a lot of pain then i do want you to stop because that could be an instability in the top of these bones right here and that would be a great reason to go see a corrective care chiropractor in your area because you want to make sure that this area is stable when that area isn't stable and we look at the nerves that are coming out right here at the top well, if that area isn't stable, that can be why this is happening in the first place. So we're working through the muscles. We're making sure that you're feeling better. If you're doing these techniques and you're getting increased range of motion, then you know that this is a great technique for you. It's something you can use. And if you know somebody who is suffering with this, somebody who's been telling you that they're getting all these type of symptoms, that, they're, that you know what's coming from their neck based on what I just said, send them this video so they can try this at home. But the other missing piece to this is gonna be quite simple, is that the structure of the spine, if the structure of the spine isn't sitting right, if it's crooked, if any of these bones are off, if they're rotated the wrong way, and that's why the muscles are acting the way that they are, then that needs to be corrected. Please try this at home. Let me know how you're doing down in the comments below. If you have questions about this video and what else you can do, you can ask me down in the comments down below. I really look forward to seeing how you're doing and how this is affecting you.